Building a House. Today I am going to be reading something that I wrote in my journal earlier this week. Uh, it was from Proverbs chapter 24, verses 3 to 4. It says, By wisdom a house is built, and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. The definition of wisdom is the quality of having experience, knowledge, and good judgment. Wisdom takes time, just like building a house takes time. Most houses are not built overnight, even with lots of workers building it. If wisdom is lacking, your house is lacking. A good example of this is a mansion with no electricity or even a regular house that has no plumbing. If you're going to build the house, you may as well build it right. The definition of understanding is have the power of comprehension to achieve a grasp of the nature, significance, or explanation of something. Understanding takes an effort to see things on a deeper level than what is seen on the surface. It requires sometimes digging deeper for the why and the how. Sometimes the end of understanding something is because I said so. Because I said so was one of those phrases that I heard a lot when I was growing up. But this time it would be God saying, because I said so. So it is important for us to not only read his word, but study his word and know his word. We're not going to have answers to every question that we have. Sometimes God will say, because I said so. And in order for us to have understanding, we're going to have to know what it is that his word says. A house is established through us digging deeper and to understand God and his ways. The definition of knowledge is facts, information, and skills acquired by a person through experience or education, the theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. The more we know about God, the more the rooms of the house are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. When I think of some of the rare and beautiful treasures, I think of peace that surpasses all understanding. When you are going through a storm and you really should be ready to just pull your hair out or have anxiety or go into a state of depression because you're just so overwhelmed by certain things, God gives you peace. And he doesn't just give you peace. He gives you the peace that surpasses understanding where other people know what you're going through. And they look at you and say, how in the world are you doing it? How are you holding it together? How do you have peace? Because if it were me, I wouldn't. So that's one of the rare and beautiful treasures that I see uh, when I think of uh, God's house. The other one would be having joy in a sorrowful season. If you are experiencing uh, the grief uh, because the death of a loved one or anything like that, um, you can still have joy. And the reason you can have joy is because God gives you joy, even though the time is sorrowful and even though you're grieving, you can still have moments of being joyful. My encouraging scripture is going to be the same one I started with. Uh, Proverbs 24 verses 3 to 4. By wisdom, a house is built and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge, its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures.